Hey guys, welcome back to Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer and today we're going to be talking about some spring crappie tips and specifically uh, a technique for catching these spring crappies. Now, this technique is really effective and it's really fun and uh, basically what it is is it's a form of tight lining for crappies and when we talk about tight lining a lot of times we're talking about vertical jigging but today we're going to be talking about casting and retrieving but we're not going to be using a float or any type of bobber all we're going to be using is uh, a lure we're going to cast the lure and retrieve it so when we're going to use this technique when it's going to be most effective is when we're fishing a shoreline and the shoreline's probably got some wood on it but it doesn't have necessarily fallen trees where there's you know a tree in the water and there could be an entire school of crappies in this tree it's more when there's some you know some down trees but they maybe don't have tons of branches on it it's more just a log with a branch or two or there's some stumps or some tree roots or you know uh, some down sticks here and there and it's a situation where the crappies aren't really schooled in one area or in one tree they're more spread out there's some crappies here there's some crappies there so in that situation fishing them more like bass where you, you just work the shoreline you, you're on your trolling motor and you're just slowly working down the shoreline and you're casting at these spots um, that can be very effective so when we're, when we're fishing like this there's a few things uh, we need to keep in mind so first off our technique is going to be we're going to just slow you know slowly work the shoreline with the trolling motor we maybe won't even be on constant all the time we're just going to slowly work down the, the shoreline and we're going to cast uh, to the shoreline bring the bait back to the boat and we're, you know, if we see some down trees, some stumps, we'll cast at them and then retrieve back to the boat. Now, you're going to get some snags with this technique. It's just the uh, the nature of the beast. But kind of, we're going to go over a few little tips on how to avoid some of those snags. And first off, we're going to cover uh, kind of our rig, how we're going to rig for this. And I like to use a longer rod for this technique you can get longer casts I like to use my seven foot light power rod it's super sen it's got an extra fast action tip so it's sensitive but it gets to that backbone for setting the hook on those bigger crappies but it's sensitive it's uh it's I mean it's a little whippy at the tip but not too bad so I can really rifle that bait out there get a far cast and then I have good sensitivity on the retrieve to feel those fish and then good hook setting power now for the line, I'm using six pound mono. We are fishing sticks, um, you know, and stumps. There are snags, so some heavier line can be useful. But if you go too heavy, it's hard to cast, and you're going to lose some sensitivity. You're going to lose some some feel of your jig. So I like using six pound line. This is mono. This is a situation where braid can help you. The reason for that is first braid you can cast it farther and you can have thin diameter braid in a heavier pound test so you can use a little heavier line so you can get some of those snags back so you can use it, either use mono or braid for this situation before we get into the lures that I like to use for fish in this type of situation I just want to invite you if you haven't already to join my five day crappie locating challenge basically what this challenge is is it's how to find new crappie lakes and find new crappie spots on those lakes so it's how to identify the best lakes and then find crappie spots on those lakes or lakes that you already fish just find additional spots that you never knew existed on those lakes so if you want to join my five-day crappie locating challenge all you have to do is click on the link in the description of this video enter your email and I will email you the videos of the five day crappie locating challenge we've already had tons of people take the challenge and have really good results so if you want to check it out just click on the link in the description of this video and uh, I'll email you the videos uh, for the five day crappie locating challenge 
and that'll just help you find some new spots for even fishing techniques just like this one here. So now getting into the lure and the jig, one tip for fishing, you know, this type of technique is what you're going to, one, you know, one question you're going to have right away is how fast do you retrieve? How fast are you going to reel this in? And the answer is you basically want to fish as slow as possible, but, you know, as fast as you have to. And what I mean by that is, you know, crappies, they can be aggressive. And with this approach, you're going to feel some good hits, and they're going to be a little bit more aggressive with this technique than would they would be if you're fishing with a float. But still, they're not like, a, you know, a bass or a walleye where they're just going to take off and follow this thing. So you want to go as slow as you can, but you need to reel fast enough so that your bait isn't, you know, constantly hitting the bottom or getting snagged. Because if you're fishing too low in the water column, you're going to be below the fish. Because crappies, they're usually a little bit off the bottom and they're usually feeding up. So if your bait is too low, you're not going to get any bites. So you want to reel fast enough so your bait is sitting higher in the water column and it's above the snags, above the, the bottom. So if you're hitting the bottom or getting snagged, too often you're probably really too slow so you it's gonna kinda just it's a little bit of an art you kinda just have to f figure out how fast you need to retrieve to keep that bait up uh, a tip is to keep your rod tip high so you can keep that bait a little higher in the water column and then just start out with a straight retrieve back to the boat you know as you get a little more comfortable you can kinda swim that bait pull the rod tip forward you know which will speed it up and then let it, it drop a little bit. You'll still be reeling, but when you put the rod tip back, it'll drop a little bit, so your bait's going to kind of be going, speeding up, coming up, going down. We kind of call that swimming the bait. So you can kind of get creative and, and try some different stuff. So here right here is a crappie magnet, and this would be a, a lure. It's, you know, it's, a, it's got a pretty big profile, and this would be a lure that I'd like to, I like to swim. Cast it out, kind of raise it up, let it drop, or you can do this with a straight retrieve, maybe shake that rod tip a little bit on the retrieve to get the tail going. But you can just straight retrieve this lure uh, or swim it. Same with a, a lure like the Bobby Garland uh, Baby Shad. This is another one that's just you can do a straight retrieve or swim it. But a lot of times I like a lure that's going to have some action on the tail as I reel it in. So an example would be a twister tail. That tail is going to be spinning the entire time you're retrieving. Another uh, example right here is the Bobby Garland. I'm just going to take this one out of the pack so you can see it. Looks just like this. It's the stroller. And you can see it's got that big action tail. This thing really twirls on the retrieve. So these baits are good because you can just do a straight, steady retrieve. And that tail is going to put action on the bait. Uh, same kind of with this pile diver. This one, if you swim it a little bit too, it helps. Um, here's another one. It's the Slab Hunter. I'll take this one out so you can see it. Looks just like this. But here you see it's got a little bit of a tail, so it's going to swim as you're retrieving it. Another type of bait that works really well for this is spins and underspins. So here, you know, the Road Runner works really well for this. Uh, the beetle spin works really well for this. You know, they've got the added flash of that spin, and those spins are going to help keep it a little higher in the water column. So these are lures that I like for this type of approach. Now, if you're using something like any of these plastics for the jig head, I like to use the smallest jig head possible because you're going to get a smaller drop. So I'm going to either be using a 32nd ounce, a 16th ounce, or an 8th ounce. Now obviously the lighter jig you go, the harder it's going to be to cast because you have less weight, but you're going to, you're, you're going to have a slower drop. So probably my most used jig is going to be the 16th ounce. And uh, you know you can pair that with any of these plastics. With the 16th ounce you're going to get a reasonable drop. Hold that rod tip high to slow it down and bring in that steady retreat. If you're using a big plastic or there's a lot of wind, you might need to go to the eighth ounce. The problem with the eighth ounce is you're going to have to reel much faster to keep that, that jig higher in the water column. 
So I, I prefer using a 16th ounce. Uh, I'll even use a 32nd ounce when I can, but probably the 16th ounce um, is my most used. It's, it's heavy enough you can get a good cast and light enough you can get a reasonable retrieve back to the boat uh, without having to go too fast. So make sure if you haven't you sign up for the five day crappie locating challenge and get out, try this technique, and I'll see you guys in the next video.